Um, for the first time ever for this year's WNBA All-Star Game, we will see a 3x3 challenge game. Now, this is a scrimmage that's going to that's gonna be between uh, the U.S. national uh, team uh, for 3x3 that are going to be playing in Paris for the Olympics, and it will be uh, versus the under-23 uh, uh, 3x3 team. Now, guys, um, this is something that was not publicized. I mentioned it in one of my videos earlier this week because I saw it on a calendar a listing of stuff, and I was like, wait, what is this? I, I've, I see it here, but I don't know anything about it. No one's talked about it. We finally have some details, and so I want to let you all know the details, okay? So this is... Um, this exhibition game will, will, will be, uh, held, um, ad, in advance of, uh, the official, um, things that are taking place on, um, Friday night. So Friday night, we will have, uh, the 3X3, this 3X3 exhibition. We will also have the, um, the skills comp, uh, skills challenge, and we will also have the, uh, th uh three point contest. All right, so those are the three things that are happening. Uh, but we start, we start, we start with the 3x3 exhibition. And I want to let you all know about this. So, again, it's featuring the national team uh, that will be competing in the Paris Olympic Games. Um, so for that team, we have Dierica Hamby, who is with the LA Sparks. Uh, if you don't know, Dierica Hamby was actually a replacement player. She replaced uh, Cameron Brink. Cameron Brink uh, went down with injury. Uh, earlier this year, so she is not able to play in Paris. She was replaced by her teammate um, in Dierica Hamby. And Dierica Hamby has a lot of 3x3 experience and so will be a huge asset to this team, is a player who is a post player who can play like a guard, similar uh, in, in a in a um, uh, similar role than what um, Cameron Brink offered, though not Cameron. We also have Ryan Howard on that team as well. Ryan Howard plays for the Atlanta Dream. Um, she has been a baller for a really long time. She has a 3x3 experience um, and she's about to rock out in Paris. Uh, she is just starting to get healthy, back healthy again. She was injured for a, for a hot sec. Um, so, uh, so she's back um, and she will be representing Team USA in in Paris. We also have Sierra Burdick. So Sierra Burdick, guys, there's a lot of WNBA play, uh, fans who do not know Sierra Burdick. Maybe some of y'all have never heard of her before. Guys, Sierra Burdick has been playing women's basketball for a very, very, very long time. She used to play, uh, she used to play for, uh, for the WNBA. Um, she's, she's not even, she's not even old. She's a pretty young player. Um, she was drafted, um, in 2015 by the uh, LA Sparks. Um, and she was eventually, you know, uh, she was briefly in the WNBA, uh, was waived. Uh, she plays a lot overseas. She plays a lot of overseas basketball. If you didn't know, she actually attended college at the University of Tennessee. So another Lady Vol um, uh, representing. Uh, but Sierra Burdick has done a lot of 3x3. A lot of 3x3. She is, she is, I believe, like one of um, Team USA's most tenured 3x3 players. Uh, she um, won the FIBA World Cup uh, for 3x3 in um, 2014. She won it in 2023. Uh, she um, just does a lot of 3x3 play. A lot. Um, she, and she also played for for several WNBA teams. Um, but, but yeah, she's one of those players that I think a lot of people don't know about. And I wanted to just give y'all just a little, little bit of information about her. Um, I could do like a, like a dedicated video about her because, you know, she's only 30 years old. She's been, she's been playing, playing basketball for a, a long while. Um, she is the only woman with two 3x3 World Cup titles. I'm just saying, and a lot of people don't know who she is. And so I wanted to, I wanted to just quickly talk about her. She is, she is uh, one of those players that even though she does not, even though she's not on the WNBA team, uh, she, she is so good at three X three that she made the, she made the, um, the national team and, and for the five on five Olympics and the three X three, Sierra Burdick is the only, the only player that is not on a WNBA roster that made the Olympic roster. So it says a lot. 
It just says a lot. I know I'm spending a little bit of time on her. I'm doing it because I know a lot of people don't know who she is. And so I'm trying to just give y'all some information about who she is as a player. Now, next person on this list, you are y'all know this person. Uh, it is Haley Van Liff. So Haley Van Liff, y'all know her. She played, she played for Louisville for a long while. Um, she transferred to LSU this past season. Uh, she transferred out of LSU and she will be going. Um, uh, she transferred, um, like, you know, a lot of, a lot of other players have transferred and she's playing, she's going to be playing for TCU when it come when we come to the fall. All right. So, so guys, um, when it comes to, when it comes to, um, Haley Van Liff, she's really good at three X three. She's really good at three X three. She's been doing it for, for a little while, a little while. She, she participated in the, um, in the uh, 3x3 women's uh, series Springfield, um, um, she was on the, on that team. Uh, she was on the um, 3x3 uh, FIBA women's uh, series uh, that in 2023. Um, she was a member of the U24 3x3 team in 2023. Um, you know, she was on the she was a member of the 2022 inaugural. A USA Basketball 3x3 team. Um, she's she's been doing a lot of 3x3. That's my point. She's been doing a whole lot of 3x3. Um, and so yes, while she did not have the best of season with LSU, she absolutely deserves a spot on this roster. And I and I think she's gonna I think she's gonna do well. I think I think she's gonna do well. Her um, her and Sierra Burdick are the only non WNBA players on the roster. Um, so I, I wanted to just shout them out. Um, but yeah. Uh, but yeah, I, I, I think it's going to be fun to watch them. So those are the players on the national team. All right. Those are the players on the national team and here's who they're playing. So guys, um, these are members of the, um, of the U 23, three X three team. Now, um, they will be actually competing very, very soon. Um, so, uh, so this, this three X three U 23 national team is going to be competing in the FIBA 3x3 Nations League tournament that is happening in Mexico City in a couple of days. Uh, so the tournament starts on July the 22nd, um, and so they are prepping for that. So how Team USA is prepping for Paris, the under-23 team is prepping for Mexico City um, to go there and win the FIBA 3x3 Nations tournament. All right. Uh, so here are the players who are participating in that. We have uh, Christina Dale from Maryland. We got Morgan Maley from Creighton. We have Cody McMahon at Ohio State. Lucy Olson, who just transferred to uh, Iowa. Um, and we, we have Michaela Williams from LSU. And we have Sarah Williams from Wisconsin. All right. So, guys, that is, that is um, those are the players who are participating in the under-23 team. Um, and they're going to be scrimmaging against the uh, 3x3 national team. So that's going to be a fun game uh, to watch. So guys, I just wanted to let you all know about that because yeah, there hasn't been that much fanfare or talk about this. Uh, so I wanted to, I wanted to talk about it. All right. So again, we got, um, we got some, some college players in the building for that one. Uh, Sarah Williams, Michaela uh, uh, Williams, no relation. Uh, Lucy Olson, Cody McMahon, Morgan Maley, and Christina Dale. Oh, Dulce, Dulce. I'm sorry, Dulce. Um, so yeah, those are the players who are participating in that. Um, so yeah, hopefully this is helpful. Like guys, are really the, the a huge part of my channel portion of my channel is really it's it's really meant to be educational. So hopefully this is helpful for y'all. Um, all right, all right, all right, all right. Now guys, I want to see if y'all have any comments about this three x three. If not, we will move on to other stuff. Uh, other. Uh, things that are happening tomorrow. Uh, yeah, I believe I believe you are right. Emac e e e e Emac uh, says Goro, you have to meet uh, certain standards to qualify for three three uh, three x three in the Olympics. You uh, you have to have played uh, x amount of games uh, or or something when it comes to three x three. Caitlin never played three x three, so she is ineligible. I do believe that is correct. I am like. I am like 95% sure that it's correct. Um, that you, you, there is some like qualifying stuff that you have to do to uh, be able to play in 3x3. Um, all right, Jasmine, great question. 
Great question, Jasmine. Jasmine says, is it not a disadvantage that the national team has four players and the U23 team has six? No, it's not. Because um, this is these are the teams that are representing Team USA. So for the Olympics, for 3x3, you can only have four players. That's the rules. You can only have four players for 3x3. Um, like on the on the court at one time. I mean, not on the court at one time, but like you, you can only have one player on the bench while three players are out there playing uh, for 3x3. For the Olympics. For, uh, for the... Um, uh, for the U23 uh, tournament that's going to be happening in Mexico City, uh, the Nations League, you are able to have six players. So you're able to have six players of three players on the bench, three players um, actually actually playing on the court. Uh, so so it's different rules. So that's why team that's why the national team only has four because that they're following the rules of what will be in Paris. And then that's why the U23 team has six because that's the rules that's going to be in Mexico City for uh, for the tournament that they're particip participating in. So hopefully that is helpful um, to you all. Great question. Great question. Uh, Row 2 says the 3x3 should be good. Yeah, it should be good. Yep. Carmela is excited about All-Star. I am too. I really am. Um, uh, Goro says how uh, dominant... I think you I think you're trying to ask how dominant will the US be in 3x3? Um to be quite honest with you, I I don't have I think I assume you mean Paris. I don't have that much of an educated opinion on that. Um when it comes to 5 on 5 women's basketball, I got you. I got a, I got an opinion about just about every country you know, we can go down that list and, and I can talk, sort of talk about how good I think that like Team USA is going to be. When it comes to 3x3, I have, I've watched 3x3. Like I, I, I watch Team USA play, but I don't watch enough about other countries to know really like how, like how to expect the, like uh, Team USA to be. Like, so I'm, I'm not really sure when it comes down to Paris for 3x3, um, you know, they look pretty good to me in the games I've, I've seen them play, but I, I don't know that much about the other countries and the, and the landscape on that front in terms of how good Team USA will actually be. So um, I, I don't know enough to answer your question. Any other? Uh, James is asking, what is 3x3? Okay, that is a fabulous question because I guess maybe I probably should have said that earlier. Uh, sorry, I didn't realize that like folks may not have known what 3x3 is. Um, so 3x3 is a new sport. That was well. It's not. It's not a new sport. People have been playing three, uh, uh, three versus three since I was a kid. But it is a new um, sport on the on the global stage. Uh, so it, it became a uh, Olympic sport very very recently. Um, it it is a it is half court basketball, three versus three. Um, usually the players who play three x three, they call it three x three. Um, the, usually the, the players who play 3x3 are, it's usually two guards and a sort of combo post player who plays 3x3. For 3x3, it's it's fluid movement. You're going into until you hit 21. Um, um, it's fluid movement throughout, and you don't have tra like a traditional post. You don't have traditional post um, in 3x3. Uh, so usually you have you have like combo guards, and which is why Cameron Brink was selected uh, to participate in that and, 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 and why, um, Dierica Hamby ended up replacing her because these, these are post players who, um, yes, can make some stuff, some stuff, stuff happen in the post, but also, uh, most importantly, these are, uh, are post players who can play guard like rules. So, so guys, um, you know, for three X three for the Olympics, it's three players on the court at one time, one sub, um, that's it. That's all you get. Um, you play half court, and, um, you know, uh, the point system is different. So beyond the arc, it's two points. Um, inside the arc, uh, the three-point arc, no the normal three-point arc is one point. So two points is a three-point shot, and one point is a two-point shot. Um, it is first to 21, or you play until you've reached the allotment time, which is 10 minutes. So the games are 10 minutes long. That's That's on the clock. You either hit the 10 minute mark or somebody hits 21, um, whichever goes first, that is, that's who wins. Um, and you have 12 seconds when you get the ball, uh, like when you sort of inbound the ball, even though you're not inbounding the ball, you get 20, you get 12 seconds to, uh, to get a shot up, um, for the shot clock. All right. 
Uh, so that is something to note. And um, they don't have three refs. Usually they have like one or two refs uh, that do 3x3. So hopefully that is helpful to, to sort of explain. That was that's a, that's a very, very quick explanation of 3x3. And I hope that is helpful for you.